A stretch of one of Detroit's most historic roads is set to go from cobblestones to cutting edge. Feds are pledging $25 million to turn a two mile stretch of Michigan Avenue from Woodward to I-96 into a truly connected roadway. It'll help self-driving cars communicate, make it safer for bike riders and walkers and of course, ultimately we hope drivers. Grant Herms live along Michigan Avenue. Grant, this project though isn't cheap. Devin Kimberly, it is not, not just the $25 million, but another $25 million on top of that. So tens of millions of dollars to redo this iconic red brick road here that will certainly change the look and feel of historic Corktown. Corktown's historic stretch of Michigan Avenue getting a modern facelift. $50 million, including a new $25 million grant from the federal government to put in new lanes for autonomous vehicles, transit, bikers, and walkers. But it would mean removing the iconic red brick road. I'm a Detroiter all my life, and I can remember and hear stories about when this was uh, a Charlie cars running up and down here. Matter of fact, you can still see some of the uh, railings here, so I would think that would be a travesty to, to pull up these bricks. Michelle and Alex were visiting from Toronto and decided to take an e-bike and scooter ride through Corktown. As a tourist, I was really impressed with the paved the stones on the road. I thought it was like very pretty. I understand the need to, you know, try to get people out on on bikes and more and, and maybe, you know, getting a, a smoother paved surface would be better than than bricks. But the change is already on the rails with plans to keep Detroit at the front of the new car scene. If that's the way that transportation in this country is heading, we'll be at the cutting edge of it. But don't worry, the new look of Corktown will stay the same. These new concrete pavers will deliver that performance and the safety uh, that comes along with it. These new red pavers that have a higher level of performance will retain the historic look and feel of the road. A leap into the future in one of Detroit's most historic places. So let's talk about what's actually going to happen here. MDOT is going to pull up each one of these individual bricks very carefully, clean them off, and then they're going to place them in different parts around Corktown. What's going to go down in their place is red painted concrete, similar style pavers, maybe a little bit bigger, that will change the look and feel of this road so those autonomous lanes can go in as well as a new bike lane, Devin, right where I'm standing right yeah. now. Uh, now, Grant, the governor and others have talked about wanting to put a self-charging mile of road in Corktown, but this money is not going to that just yet, right? Not just yet. I was I was told today that this money is for this project here. That self-charging road is actually the next mile down here that'll go right yeah. in front of Central Station and Ford's Innovation Center. But that money is coming from a different pile. That project, an entirely different project. Something we'll be back here to talk about in just a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be exciting too. All right, Grant. Yeah.